Getting an unrestricted view of Cape Colored community is something unfamiliar on our screens. Now, what we can't all relate to is growing up or living in a community that is governed by gangs. What we can all relate to is fighting for your survival. Young Abraham, aka AB, is arrested um, along with his friend Ukimba for a petty crime that they've committed and they're sentenced to two years in prison. Once you go to prison, you have to join a gang in order to survive, pretty much. If you weren't part of it outside, you're gonna have to be part of it inside to survive. Now, this is something that is proposed to Abraham, who refuses to join any of the gang members, any of the number gang members. Um, so what he chooses to do is to tell stories to these hardened criminals in order to survive this two-year sentence that he has. Now, it's been an exciting movie to watch because A, we get exposed even more to what Cape Colored life is like. I mean, we hear the dialect, the Afrikaans dialect that they speak. Um, mm. It's very different to Afrikaans that are spoken by other colors everywhere else in the country, I imagine. Um, and I say that because I've never heard that kind of dialect. They um, call it Afrikaans. Oh, it's called Afrikaans. Mm. So it's quite interesting, but also very interesting because it's like based off of <laughs> based off of a true story mm. right um yeah. so abraham plays the real person who actually wrote the script um mr john fredericks the late john fredericks um so it's quite interesting that he was able to survive this was like in the 60s when he was in prison he was still young he was still young he was yeah. 17 when he got arrested yeah. so it's quite interesting that at that young age he managed to fend off you know these hardened criminals he managed to survive his prison sentence without getting pulled into these gangs and being a member of them because as we know based off the stories that we've been told once you leave you're still part of the gang the only mm. way out of a gang any gang for that matter yeah, exactly. is it's death, death yeah. you know you you don't choose what okay get up guys thanks no mm. it's not like that so i think it was really interesting again to shine the spotlights on that sort of experience so we're looking at two experiences right the prison life experience and the cape colored community experience um so it was just I think it was a beautifully told story. Yeah. Um, at some point, I felt it was maybe dragging too much. Like maybe we didn't have to see Abraham as a child, you know. But I guess it was also very important to put a spotlight on that because it influenced who he then was in yeah. prison. But I also think they included him as a child because his gang life started when he was a child. True. The four of them. Abraham and his three friends, but um, in a sense, now they had to commit the ultimate act of being in a, in a, in officially in a gang, you know. And they were kids at the time. Back then, they don't know what they were doing, mm. you know. And then growing up, I think also prison made Abraham grow up. Mm. So some decisions, especially when you're a teenager and you don't really have a whole lot of positive role models around you, you know, mm. Abra Abra Abraham. AB. AB was a good kid and a lot of times good people tend to struggle to do wrong things. It's just it just happened that he was caught in a pretty much a, a bad situation, you know. I mean everything he tried to do was for the best of for his family mm -hmm. instead of just for uh, as much as his friend Gimba wanted to do it for his own glory, he was doing it to provide mm -hmm. you know i think that's where the contrast is and especially including him as a kid is important mm -hmm. but i think also with regards to the story also mishidi great job it's such it's it's so amazing you know because we might think that it's isolated to cape town but in terms of the lifestyle the 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 the, the behavior of the guys back then a lot of people around the country relate to it you know it reminded me of my late cousin actually yeah. you know and even the walk you know walking as if he's carrying a whole bucket of water that was sad <laughs> yeah. you know those kind of vibes there's people that live that life even today but they're not part of gangs yeah you know but i just appreciate how abraham transitioned from being this boy that just wants to tell stories 
to somebody who's whose life t turned upside down because of someone else that wanted glory yeah you know i yeah. just appreciate how he transitioned from that and he stood up for himself at the end of the day yeah. you know he stood up against being in a gang even though he almost made a mistake of becoming a part of the gang in the prison yeah you know yeah mm. i think also it really i liked that it showed the dynamics and friendships as well mm -hmm. right um abram was this person who was pretty much his friends looked up to him they looked to him as like you know the leader of the gang because he came up with the idea of starting a gang but i guess the idea that they had about what they'd be doing as a gang wasn't what he had as an mm. idea of what they'd be doing as a gang and he even though he was part of it to him what was important was that we are all our individual you were all our own In persons yes. essentially right yeah. so if you do something then you must take the fall for that if you get caught kind of thing yeah, you know and yeah. he was very vocal about that so him having to fight for his life in now this murder that he was implicated in you know to see that struggle i mean i don't i will not i was like on the edge of my seat <laughs> i was on the yeah, edge of my seat yeah. just shocked at how first of all you know there was a friendship you know that we were exposed to we saw a brotherhood that was exposed to be saw the different characters in that brotherhood mm. and to just see them all kind of become wussies essentially <laughs> you know it's like what happened to the strong character that yeah. you know gimba is it's, what happened yeah. to the strong character that shorty is you know mm. um mm. it was quite interesting also i i felt quite compelled to watch it till the end mm. i felt very compelled i mean even his storytelling i was literally visualizing mm. all the stories he was telling in prison you know i love from and my favorite story was especially the one where he talks about being a prisoner mm. you know that yeah. story where being a prisoner but you actually realize that hang on i did not do this because i would want to but because of circumstances and yeah. doing the wrong thing at the end of the day this is the kind of impact it has on me as a prisoner you know because everybody was like oh, what do you how? how like everybody was like literally on on the on the edges of their blankets you know mm. yeah. <laughs> literally yeah yeah you know everybody was on the edges of their blankets and they could really literally see a, a ab as a leader for all of them yeah. you know i think that's 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 what i love the most and it compelled me even to watch it to the end where even when kb left prison and he was literally attacked in 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 in, in custody mm. He was attacked by police officials. He was beaten up to a plump, you yeah. know. So those are the kind of things that push me, that compelled me to watch it. What was your favorite scene? I mean, I don't even have a favorite scene. <laughs> I I enjoyed legit every every part of the movie, mm -hmm. every part of the movie, um, because so many moments were so relatable. I mean, yeah. I think um, also just having being exposed to AB's life with his family, seeing that, you know, he comes from a family that has a prayer warrior, you know, his mom was very prayerful. Mm -hmm. So again, it's like the influence in his character to not be part of, you know, the violence of gang life and stuff like that. So if he had to be in a situation where he had to, you know, put up his fist, that's what it would be, but he would mm -hmm. never actually kill somebody, you mm -hmm. know? Um, I think that was a very important thing to highlight, you know, the role that the influence that his mom had on his yeah, life, yeah. even though he was doing all the bad things that he was doing. Um, I guess also a reflection of just how prominent religion or spirituality really is in a lot of homes, yeah, you know, and yeah. how everybody does come from um, a, a home that is grounded. You know what I mean? Like, let's not look at somebody who's committed a crime and think that they, they, their home life experience was devoid of that. Especially, mm. I think, because we're focusing on the Cape Colored community. You yeah, know what I mean? I think yeah. a lot of times when people like to describe 
the colored community there's nothing good that people can say about yeah, the colored community yeah. you know what i mean so and there's not a lot of content which exposes the life of the cape colored community yeah, yeah yeah so for me i would say not really a scene but a moment that was spotlighted um that was a very important one for me and one that really stood out for me yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you were to rate it though, how many built on six would you give us? Man, this movie, although it's it's kind of old, <laughs> but it's, it's still it's it's yeah. it's a classic. You know, it's a yeah. classic. I mean, I feel I like somewhere somehow I felt compelled to even watch to to buy the book, Nume Squally, You know, and I would rate it a solid fresh five. Okay. And how many built on sticks would you give it? I'd give it four built on sticks. Yeah, I'd really give it full build on sticks. So if you've mm-hmm. also seen New Mace Golly, if you haven't seen it yet, it's definitely available to stream mm-hmm. or whatever you, wherever you get your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but let us know what you think about it. And if you do love this review or love any of our reviews, please give us a like, um, share the content, let us know what you think um, about the movie though. Give us your thoughts in the comment section below. And if there's a series, docu, or film that you would like us to review that features South Africans or Africans in the diaspora, let us know in the comments. I'm Komo. And I'm Dumi. And this is the Bulldog Review. Thanks for watching.